All right, so um, if you have not seen the latest episode to Legends of Tomorrow, you may want to get up off this video because there's going to be some spoilers here. So, two seconds. When these fingers disappear, you better be gone if you have not seen the episode. That's your warning. Now, um, now this was an interesting and a very intense, and a very intense episode, and and um, I'd say the Pilgrim is probably the biggest threat that the team has ever faced outside of Vandal Savage. I mean, seriously, I mean, I didn't, you know, like, going in, watching this episode, I didn't think she was that threatening as she was. Like, they, you know, like, she's so unpredictable, like, where she can just go at any point in time in the past if any, if any of their wives, and they won't even know about it. And, and it was ridiculous. And when it comes to, you know, um, in, in battle, she can slow, she can basically slow down time I guess slow, slow down her opponents like like whoever you know whoever she focuses on I guess or I don't know they never really really I don't recall them ever explaining that ability where like if someone comes at her she can slow them down and um and that's that's yeah that sounds like a force to be reckoned <laughs> the force to be reckoned with and um and I thought I was going to be here going after all of them as kids, but apparently not. I mean, it bounced from going after Mick slash Heatwave as, you know, as, as, um, what, when he's like 11 or 12 years old or whatever. And, and then she goes, and then she goes after Sarah when she's not, she's not really that much younger than she is now. And Ray, when, um, when he's in the middle of making his, um, his Adam suit and I'm like, wow. <laughs> And there's even a, you know, like, there's a moment, like, boy, they show that in the, um, in the beginning where she killed someone else, or where she went to go kill someone in the past, and then you see that person, like, in the present, being, you know, perishing from existence, and, um, and as, um, and then they also showed, um, like, when Ray, uh, you know, when she went back in time to attack Ray, um, you saw that there's, um, you know, he was bruised, and, and, um, and he's like, oh, I feel, and he, whatever's going on in the past, he, he feels what's going on, and, and that's, that's pretty weird how, um, this all happens on this show, but, like, let's say, for example, like, on The Flash, you know, like, in that latest episode where Zoom said he went back in time, you know, and he ran into, um, I guess his past self, and, he talked him into letting him kill him, and 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 then he was able to do that without not anything happening to him, and you know, it, um, not his past self, but but him, you know, the present Zoom, and um, that's really weird, you know. Like I mean, there's a you know, like the more I try to dig deep into the whole time travel thing of how, okay, if something happened to you in the past and that affects you in the in the present or whatever. Um, ah, uh, I mean, like, that doesn't, I guess that, well, that nature of law doesn't seem to, um, to be, I don't know, it doesn't seem to, I guess, um, pertain to the speedsters in a way, I guess. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, feel free to, you know, shed some light on that for me, but, um, it, it basically is like one, it's like the Flash, you know, like the it's like the Flash TV series is telling me one thing about time travel and, and that whole thing. And the Legends of Tomorrow is telling me like that it's um, totally different. You know, it's, it makes you wonder. I mean, like, I mean, like both teams, if, if they're not the same team, should be thinking to themselves like, well, this is going to confuse them because on the Flash this happened and then on here this happened. And like, we need to find some way to, you know, like make sense so, you know, so they can... It can be pretty much the same, I guess. But I mean, that's just a nitpick of mine. Um, they're still very great, you know. They're still both very great shows, and The Flash is fabulous. And um, I, I understand their time travel. Um, the, you know, their the route that they're taking with time travel a lot more than um, than <coughs> Heroes Reborn. <coughs> See, <laughs> I mean, like, um, I was way, 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 way more confused with Heroes Reborn, but with this, it's, like, a bit more simple, but, um, 
And it has some emotional moments, too, like where Jackson, you know, is able to m meet his father when he goes back in time. And I'm like, okay, um, I'm thinking to myself, like, you, you know, like, I'm thinking, don't, what, don't allow yourself to be, you know, be seen. And then there's even a moment where Sarah, you know, allows her past self to see her. And I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? I mean, doesn't that affect the timeline or, or, or whatnot? You know, like, you know how Reverse Flash would tell Barry, you know, like, you know, don't tell me what happens, you know, don't go there, you're going to affect the timeline. Da, 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 da. But, um, so, um, yeah, I mean, like, it's funny, like, um, I mean, like, is there any, any dire consequences of them doing this? You know, like, you know, allowing themselves to see themselves. I mean, I know they have the amnesia pills and then that, they, they won't remember it, you know, like after that that moment but um you know I'm, I'm just you know i'm just i've been trying to wrap that around my brain for, you know quite a bit ever since these episodes you know were aired but i still enjoyed them and um and um and, and ray uh proposes while while when he thinks he's gonna die and um and then you know um you see kendra you know sort of having some conflicting you know feelings of like whether she should stay with ray or should she listen to her future self or whatnot and but um yeah uh um I, i'm gonna say I, i'm a kendra and ray shipper I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now you know i think they're adorable together and um and if they were to um break it off which they may most likely do i would be devastated well not devastated but sad but uh but um i'll unlike how i how i would how I felt about um, Oliver and uh, Felicity, <laughs> and um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, like, if it's not you know Carter, then you know, then yeah, then definitely you know Ray all the way. I mean, like they have chemistry. I mean, it wasn't forced. I mean, you you see that here and there that they um, you know, that there's attraction. There is an attraction there, and there was that two year time skip or whatever. And so yeah, I mean, like they're like this now. So and that's. And that would make it pretty difficult for Kendra, you know, knowing um, the life that she lives and or eat every life that she lives. And um, but man, um, this episode did give me the feels quite a bit, especially with Jackson's, you know, part of the of the episode, you know, like with his father. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> well, everything else is pretty humorous, like with Mick, you know, like interacting with his past self. That's pretty, and it's pretty funny, and how. Um, and now all of a sudden he's you know, like when they get um when they get you know baby captain cold on board and he and he tells and he tells and mick tells his younger self you, you better not drop him <laughs> oh that's that's pretty funny because he he betrayed the team now he's um and now he's basically on, on the team again but I, I get it because i guess you know like being a good guy is not something that he's quite used to really even though there's good in him but he's more used to being a being a bad guy and 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 you know and do, doing bad shit <laughs> but um and then we see there's a little bit of humanity in him and um and uh, and um so i guess you know being on this team it gives him an opportunity for that humanity to grow stronger you know and and um so i mean like you know like the team shouldn't really be that really be that surprised that you know when he turned on them for you know quite a bit i mean i mean you know it's in it was in his nature you know and um what surprised me even more is when captain cold sort of is defending the team you, you know i mean that's pretty you know it's a yeah, you know i know there's good in him too but it's pretty interesting you know but and yeah that was the episode was intense you know like especially when she said she would kill their loved ones if she didn't if they didn't turn themselves in and whatnot and allow them to you know be killed and and um we get a get a little bit a little bit of backstory with um rip hunter and um we end up seeing his past self and where he was held where where he was living as a child and and i said to myself how are we going to get rid of this how are they going to defeat this pil pil blah, 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 pilgrim without killing her i mean I get it, there's a no kill code there, sort of, but this girl is a serious threat. You, she needs to die. And Little Rip Hunter, you know, got had that taken care of. And um and, and then she was 
you know cremated you know like pretty much so that that's good i mean you can't just lock that woman away i mean she's too she's too dangerous she she was but this was a great episode so it gets four chair spins out of five one two three four <laughs> i guess that was four <laughs> but um i think we have what m maybe like a few episodes left before the season finale but um yeah i mean like it that but you know the show's been pretty pretty decent but this was one of my this is one of the better episodes in my opinion so um we'll see you know what happens what happens from here but uh, yeah i think it's a pretty damn good episode that was worth talking about so um feel free to leave your comments and um let me know what you thought of the episode and and if, if there's anything that i that, that, that I'm missing on the time travel thing that they're doing, um, feel free to tell me. But I may I may already understand that, but feel free to tell me anyway. But if you enjoyed this review, thumb up the video, make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.